The upset of the night in college basketball, Wofford, 79 to 75 over the reigning national champion, North Carolina Tar Heels. We have their head coach, Mike Young, is nice enough to give us a couple minutes. Coach, hell of a win. John Zustremski, CBS Sports Radio. Congratulations. How are you? John, thank you a lot. I have to beg your pardon. You consider that an upset. I uh, I have to disagree. We expected uh, to do that. I'm just kidding, John. I that love it, a, Coach. Uh, I love the swagger. A, I love the attitude. That's beautiful. A remarkable moment for uh, our program and our college, and uh, we're, uh, we're awful excited, needless, needless to say. Coach, when you go into a game like this, and you'll play in North Carolina. You know about the history. You know they're the reigning national champions. I mean, it's got to be the easiest game to motivate your guys. But can you use something like Vegas as bulletin board material when you see like a 25-point spread and say, hey, guys, nobody believes in us. Go out there and take on the world. Shock the world. No, I don't, uh, I don't think about any of that. I had no idea, nor did I care. Um, but they know what's at stake, John. Uh, you know, you're coming in to – the Smith Center, uh, and competing against as storied a basketball program as there is in the country and see all these banners uh, flying above us and Coach Williams and, you know, what he's accomplished here and throughout his career, 850 wins, what have you. Um, you know, they know what's on the line. They know what's in front of them. But everything is the same. We've got to do these four things. A lot of times they're the same. Um We've got to do these four things if we expect to win. And, you know, sometimes you get three or four and you win. Sometimes you get three or four and you don't win. We got four or four tonight, and uh, we're fortunate enough to, to walk out of here with, uh, with an incredible win. Well, Coach, you had to know in this game, a team as talented as North Carolina was going to make a run on their home floor. Sure. And sure. they did make a run. You guys were up. You were leading the entire second half. And then UNC's coming back. They're storming back. Did you tell your team anything in those final two or three minutes? Because their composure, especially at the charity stripe, where it can be nerve-wracking, you're in a hostile yeah. environment, and they were ice water, man. They were money in the bank at the end of that game. What did you tell your team there? You know, nothing. Uh, go, go, you know, lay your ears back and play. Go have fun. Um, we've got kids that can really shoot the basketball, uh, guys that have been, you know, maybe not in moments like these, uh, only our senior class played in our last NCAA tournament game against uh, Arkansas, and we're not in prominent roles as they are now. But um, you know, uh, this is what you you know work as a kid and dream about. Um, hey, step up there and make them. Uh, get up there and you know get the things in the basket. And we were able to do that. Um, you know, a couple of timely uh, foul shots, a couple of timely baskets. Not to mention. You know, a couple of defensive stops that we had to have going down the stretch. So uh, I'm proud of them and uh, feel very fortunate to, um, you know, to have been a small part of it. Coach, this is your 16th season at the university, and you guys have had a lot of success over the years getting to the NCAA have, tournament. Um, yeah. What does this win rank for you? Well, I just um, shared with someone, and, and you know where I'm coming from. There's nothing. There is nothing in my professional life like winning our league championship and representing, you know, Spartanburg and our college in the NCAA tournament. That that is the best. That's the ultimate. We were fortunate enough to go to Raleigh two years ago and beat NC State um, in Reynolds Coliseum, uh, you know, another facility with incredible history, and that was awesome. But to do it here, you know, in this building. Um, Growing up in Southwest Virginia and being a Virginia Tech and North Carolina Tar Heel fan from the time I was, I can remember, you know, seeing my first game and developed a, a love for basketball. Uh, I love this team and this program and to see, you know, our bunch come in and fight and compete and give ourselves a shot um, and make plays down the stretch is, um, is awfully, awfully special. Coach Mike Young, Wofford, unbelievable, unbelievable win over the number five team in the country, the reigning national champion, North Carolina Tar Heels, and they do it by a score of 79 to 75. And, Coach, this got to be a nice confidence booster, right? You're going into conference play oh. now. Now you can tell your team, look, you're down in a game. You're down 10, 12. Hey, we beat North Carolina, guys. We can beat anybody. Why the hell not, right? Yeah, you know, it's confirmation. Um 
we've got a lot of work to do, but, you know, we've got it. We've got um, the players and, you know, the toughness and um, a developing defense and a presence on the glass that uh, is essential if you expect to win, you know, enough to, um, you know, see it through in uh, in March. Uh, but, you know, still a lot of work to do and a lot to build on from here. Um and we look forward to, uh, you know, what lies ahead for this uh, Wofford team. Coach, final one from me. I'm looking at your non-conference schedule. A lot of brand-name programs. You beat Georgia oh, Tech. You played it's Cal. I mean, Texas it's Tech, North Carolina. This is an impressive non-conference schedule. It's uh, murderer's row, and it's always like that. But I do think that once we get to late December, early January, and into league play, uh, you know, we've developed a, a bit of a callus on our backside, and, We've seen a number of situations and a number of schemes offensively, defensively, and big front lines and big guards and and so on. And, you know, once we get there to uh, the, the, the heart of uh, your schedule and the most, part of your, uh, most important part of your schedule, your league schedule, you know, you've, um, you're ready to go. You're ready to uh, compete and, um, you know, ready to go win a lot of games, I hope. Coach Mike Young, Wofford, 79-75 over the North Carolina Tar Heels. Coach, congratulations. Good luck the rest of the way. As long as you guys don't see my beloved alma mater, Syracuse, at some point in the NCAA tournament, I will be rooting for you guys throughout your conference season, all right? John, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for having me on. I wish you well. I appreciate that, Coach. Happy holidays, you and your family, all right? Good stuff there from Coach Mike Young, 79-75. I mean, for Wofford to go into the Dean Dome and beat North Carolina, and do it convincingly, and hold them off at the end of the game, nice win. Really, really nice win. One of these signature upsets of the very, very young college basketball season.